Welcome to the eighth annual Great Valley Business Plan Competition. The Great Valley Technology Alliance is a regional public-private partnership dedicated to the creation of a knowledge-based economy. The Business Plan Competition is the region's premier program that was established to create an entrepreneurial culture. Since its inception eight years ago, the Great Valley Technology Alliance Business Plan Competition has awarded nearly $1 million in cash and in-kind services. It has also facilitated the incorporation of over 20 student-led businesses. Building on past success, this year's competition has been broadened to include a non-collegiate award in addition to the collegiate category. None of this, however, would be possible without our valued sponsors. Platinum Sponsors Gold Sponsors Silver Sponsors Bronze Sponsors Friends Scranton Enterprise Centre, Christine Augustine. Innovation Centre, Wilkesbury, John Augustine. The Greater Hazelton Business Innovation Centre, Jack St. Pierre. Carbondale Technology Transfer Centre, Paul Brown. Face to Face Resume, University of Scranton, Advisor. Pedro Anes. Face-to-face resume is a job site like no other on the market today. We are a job matching service which ranks and filters quality candidates by not only qualifications but compatibility as well. It's pretty much eHarmony meeting the ladders. I first heard about the business plan competition through the University of Scran in my sophomore year and uh, when me and my partner entered it under for a different idea. We came up with the idea for face face resume while interning for Wall Street West Project. We discovered that all job sites do ranking based on general qualifications and we thought why not add the compatibility component to it. We also noticed a trend um, towards social media, I mean social networking and video sharing sites which also you know, said hey why not make a site that ranks based on compatibility and qualifications while throwing in a video pitch as well. So what we really focus on is quality jobs for quality people, not just the quantity of jobs. If we won, won the whole package, it would be great. It would be one of the probably best moments of my life, and I would look really forward to building this site for the next, you know, hopefully years to come, making my career. Face-to-face -face resume will revolutionize the job site market. Innovatrix Labs, Penn State Hazleton. Advisor, Barbara Brazen. Our idea is for a security assessment manager, which we like to call SAM. Uh, it's a web-based application that allows uh, network administrators or small businesses to scan their network for any vulnerabilities. What's currently on the market right now is uh, reactive uh, technologies, which is once you, if you already have a virus and there's already a problem, it'll tell you about it. Uh, what we are doing is proactive so that we will scan a system and know that this can happen before it actually does happen and we can prevent any information loss or data theft. We were looking at some of the trends that were emerging in the IT field and discovered that there were some te technologies that were uh, maturing to a level that they could be applied to uh, a service like this and we just you know, tossed ideas off each other for a week or two and came up with the idea for SAM which is leveraging uh, cloud computing and AJAX frontends mostly. The main difference in our product is that there is no on-site uh, resources required. All of the tools that we're supplying to the users is uh, completely available through the internet. You could access it through a web browser or even a mobile phone. Whether or not we win the competition, we all intend on going forward with Innovatrix Labs. This is something that we're very passionate about and we want to see make it either way. Virtual Firebox Incorporated, Misericordia University, advisor Dr. John Szymanski. Virtual Firebox provides the real estate industry with a safe, secure, and convenient way to store and access data in an online setting. It is a tool for the real estate industry to improve workflow, flexibility, 
and uh, customer satisfaction. The marketplace is currently dominated by a number of indirect competitors. Directly, there's only a few companies that exist in the market for real estate industries. So this gives us a nice niche market to enter. These companies are a little outdated and um, uh, they don't perform all the same functions that we've created. Well, I've been competing in the Greater Valley Business Competition for a number of years now, actually three, and uh, it's actually just become second nature to me to compete every year. I'm originally from uh, Highland Falls, New York. Uh, I moved to the area to go to college and I've actually decided to stay in the area because I like the quality of life, the people. Regardless of the outcome of the competition, Virtual Firebox will launch operations in May. I would just say, uh, I don't know, it's been a fun ride the last four years. I'm going to take everything I've learned here and keep using it. And I hope everyone who has won is enjoying it. Who hasn't won will keep doing it. And uh, good luck. Codnex LLC, Thomas Mussolino. The latest and greatest fabric options in the textile market have to do with, with athletic fabrics and moisture, wick, moisture wicking behaviors. And what we're presenting to market are, are fabrics that repel or resist liquid, you know, guarding or shielding the, the clothing article from, from spilling or, or staining that should occur. Companies like Gore-Tex, you know, what they do is they use old techniques that encase the, the fibers with uh, hazardous polyions. And, you know, we're, our, 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 our formulation is actually all natural and we don't use uh, hazardous polyions. And, and what those old techniques do is they, they present rigid, uh, rigid hand or rigid feel to the, the, the clothing or, or, or fabric. And in our situation, it, it's not rigid at all. It actually is it's very comfortable and, and provides complete liquid resistance. We filed our first patent on, on taking our full formulation and uh, applying it to a cotton interlock, a cotton jersey, basically cotton applications that can, we can make apparel articles from, you know, such as comfortable cotton shirts, lab coats, and, and a variety of, of different workwear and linen applications. This is my, my third venture as an entrepreneur. For the last year and a half, I've been trying to, to raise funding to actually you know, make my dreams reality. And you know, I, I've gotten prepared in the last year, and, and Ben Franklin you know, thought I was prepared enough to uh, enter the competition. Jujama Incorporated, Nadia Naismith Daly. Well, Jujama is a social networking platform that is centered around events. And so we work with conference organizers to get their participants connected and keep them connected. Um, we call Jujama the glue that holds event communities together and keeps them together. So I created this platform um, for this, this particular event and it was a huge success. Over 640 meetings were scheduled one-to-one. -one. Um, vendors were able to meet up with suppliers and really do a lot of business-to-business -business, uh, networking and securing relationships. My experience has been in the biotech and pharmaceutical space um, and I was fortunate enough to have had the opportunity to start a, a company with my father. You know, we did that in 2003 and in 2006 we sold that company to um, a UK based firm. We did all of that work here in Scranton, Pennsylvania and had some of the best and brightest um, people working on our team. I think for me um, being an entrepreneur is an exciting challenge and so I'm here because I wanted to set an example that it can happen um, and that the talent exists here and to also create opportunity for our region. Financial Footprint LLC, David Kittredge and David Ng. Financial Footprint is a web-based education and guidance platform designed exclusively and specifically for young adults. What we observed while we were working in the financial services industry is that the entire industry is exclusively focused on baby boomers and their march toward retirement. What we also observed was there very little in the way of services and products being designed for young adults, which by the way is the largest population in the United States. That is Generation Y in excess of 80 million 
uh, Americans. We built this platform in a combination of website and applications within a website along with access to personal finance experts. That's the, the, our young adult clients will have access via the web with experts to have discussions and meet and build strategies as it relates to their personal, personal finance needs. Our business is designed to serve young adults across the United States. That is, we can bring jobs here to Northeastern Pennsylvania serving clients all across the country. We just hired our first staff who is a graduate from Penn State and has a graduate degree from the University of Scranton and we're bringing on three interns from East Stroudsburg University. Just a great place to be to bring talent and grow the business.